Now, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are doing a very unique experiment here today. A very, very funny video. Today, we're racing around Imola, or more specifically, actually, let me let me just double check this one real quick. Let me try and do this in one take. So, <clears throat> Formula One, Qatar Airways, Gran Premio del Made in Italy, Ed Emilia Romagna 2023. That's where we're racing today. That is where F1 is racing this weekend, and we're using lawnmowers. Yes, lawnmowers, because who doesn't want to see a lawnmower race and see exactly what shenanigans could happen with these machines? So, guys, leave a like if you're going to enjoy, subscribe for more, and let's get into it. Turn nine, easy on the power, oversteer coming through as this one on my left is on the grass. Can you hold it together? Yes, you can. We're going to go through on the inside. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, overtaken. Another one goes through. Side by side. Leaving space. I like how the lawnmower fits on the curb. Oh, my days. I'm convinced at some point we're going to get a clean attempt. We will get a clean run. It's going to happen. The good thing is every passing attempt I'm getting better and I'm beginning to understand how these lawnmowers work. So off the line, everyone off to their usual drifts as we pick up speed. We're going to try and make our way down to turn one. This thing, I was going to say car, but it's not really a car, but it kind of is a car. It's got four wheels, but you get the point. Um, it drifts a lot. It's got so much torque and horsepower, yet such little wheels and zero downfall, so that combination means you're essentially drifting. It kind of reminds me of like a 1960s F1 car in that aspect, that it has all the power in the back, all the horses packed into the engine, but oh my god, oh my god, okay, there we go, let's avoid that car park. That's all the same, it has all the horses in the back, but none of the downfall stop the grip to to make use of it so you have to be very careful with how you put the power down with this thing so yeah i mean to be fair it can even betray you and stab you in the back in a straight line so that's how fierce these loom mowers are nicely done there through turn nine that was beautiful we're gonna get the run on this guy ahead maybe drifting down the hill in fourth gear up the inside nope we'll try to get a better exit. The curbs are very, very slippy. So we've got to try and be careful with how we hit those. But currently eighth place. We've gained eight places on this opening lap. Oh, a bit, a bit hot there. Careful, careful, careful. Beautiful exit, but not really any run on the car ahead so far. So we'll try and keep ticking over. How late can we break here? To be fair, can I just smash the brakes on this thing? Because I don't know if, it, if we can lock up, is that even a thing? I guess we'll find out to turn one. Nice exit. Right, come on, Lumo. Show me what you got. Can we get a run? Do we have any engine modes in this thing? No, we don't. No, uh, no special engine modes. 200Ks an hour. Oh my god, the bumps. My steering wheel is going crazy. But we're going to break the 200 barrier and we're going to hit 6th gear. This thing has 6 gears. Yep, we can actually break quite a bit later to be fair. So we'll try to do that as we drift our way through the first chicane. AI are max difficulty and to be fair I think they're a bit too strong for me. I'm struggling to make inroads. Uh oh. Nope. Oh. I'm bailing. I was never going to make that. I was never going to make that. I tried way too much to carry speed into that chicane and that completely backfired. So we'll continue on our way. To be fair, there was no real time gain or loss. That's a beautiful hairpin though. I think I know where I'm starting to find time. It's got to be in those corners where I can really slam on the brakes and stop to nothing. The low speed, that's where we can find a bit of time. Through here as well, we're pretty decent. I think our curb is actually quite friendly. Look at the run we've got. Right here as we drift down the hill into Acminerale. Getting right and close and personal with this one ahead. Stay off the curb. Good exit. Up the hill. Can we go for the pass? Nope. 
tried it. AI braking impressively late. This curb is scary because it feels like the car's gonna two wheel it. Can we yeet it on the brakes into Ravazza? We're actually losing a bit on the straight, which is insane considering we're on equal cars, but anyway. Trying to brake late. Definitely got a very sharp front end. Up the inside. No, get off me. Oh, damn. I tried it. I tried it. Still got a lap to go. So we can still get that one back. But the AI, man. Why you got to turn into me like that? I could have made that move clean. If you just hadn't turned into me there and locked onto my right rear. This is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> Please. Calm down. Oh yes, that was nice. Careful on the exit. Oh yes, taking the drift in our stride right there. Beautiful. I'm hoping some of these uh, off-board replay shots. Oh, I've done it again. I've done it again, and we've got a car off. Well, a lawnmower off, more like. So that gives us P6. I'm hoping some of these off-board shots look good. Like, they, I'm, you can kind of see me drifting through some of them. That'd be nice. Oh, that was a... Uh, moment. I want to try and get this damn guy ahead of me. I'm pushing on max difficulty, but it's so hard. This is why we're strong. Yep, yep, yep. Give me that, give me that. Ooh. Oh dear, sorry mate. Well, you know what, that's karma. You can have that. You can have it. And we've got a two-wheeler up ahead. And he's rolled it, and he's f fallen through the map. Okay, P4 it is then, out of nothing. I'll take that. Sorry, mate. That's karma for locking onto me when I was passing you cleanly on the last lap. Don't think we're going to nick a podium if we were struggling to pass that guy, but we'll take a P4. Decent enough. To be fair, the pace ain't even that bad. A 2 minute 5 in Lumos around the full Imola version. so strong through this final sector. Look at that, that was absolutely perfect. That was not perfect. But there we go. A race in Honda Lumos comes to an end and we go from last to fourth in three laps. Not bad at all if you ask me, but uh, definitely chaotic. A two minute four actually there to close out the race on that last lap, so decent pace as well. Well, there we have it. That was a very, very fun race and a very different piece of content driving lawnmowers around Imola, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So guys, I'll leave the links down below to the lawnmower and also the circuit. Go check those out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe as that massively helps out the channel, guys. I'm trying to push for that 100k target this year. And yeah, as always, a big shout out to the members for supporting the channel. Check out the two videos on screen and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and let's goodbye from me.